friendship goes beyond me being her designer. Yeah, you guys are really friends. Correct. I just, I just the, the always, I'm like, Gemini, I'm like a but Gemini. I'm like a Gemini. I just know where to call you up and say, Paul, please do not make her wedding gown. It would be hard for me. You would say no. It would, it would be you difficult. You would say no. I, I can't answer. And you said you're I gonna, can answer for him. He would not, say no. I can't answer, okay. but you're not the one fucking sewing the beads on the or dress. We, or we but, would just charge her quadruple. Yes. <laughs> Do that, but also, and also, it's going to be, you know, listen, let me let me tell you something. Let me just, I, yes. there's very few things I know about life. Yeah. But if Raquel and Tom Sandoval were to get married, say, in about two months, yeah. mm -hmm. whoever is that dress will. You think you just went viral with the undressed podcast? That dress will be everywhere. So you got to think of that but too. No, mm. let me let me tell you something. I went viral today. I'm just heartless. No, I went viral today. I may go viral tomorrow. Maybe friendship I'll take a week more. off and then go viral again. But those friendships that you built are the backbone of your entire community and the village that support Correct. you. Right. And, and in this my case, stay. the housewife I mentioned, we weren't in close contact. But no, I got kicked to the curb like a stale crust of bread because her ex-friend, this girl, Laura, who's not even on the show, came on the podcast, wanted to. And, you know, that's an on-brand guest for this podcast. Right. And my duty is to this audience. Sure. I am a professional to behind the velvet robe. Granted, I'm also not that close to this particular. It's not like we talked every day. But, there they, didn't, people. but they didn't throw you then out. Oh, they did. Like, I got a text that if I no, do this, what... that I would be, you know, really? kicked to the... But oh, no, yeah. No, 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 I have no, the text. See, that's I different. was told that if I put this out to the world, please make sure you don't edit it. No, I mean, I'm like, I don't need no, to put the text out to the world. That's different. It's because called a that's threat. a business. That's a business. They're saving their ass about what this lady knows that you're True. exposing. True. You're doing your job. There's no Thank friendship you. there because if there were a friend, they would have said, David... I would appreciate it if you maybe do a softer blow for something like this or make me not look like in a bad light, but I don't want to infringe on what you've built, which is so beautiful. Thank now, you. Now, there, there's a difference. And at that point, you could have really taken a different stance and said, you know what? What's your problem? Which aspect do you want me to maybe consider? Or totally, you know what? Maybe yeah, I need to take it in a different perspective, and for me to be able to see how it could be relative in a different way, right? Do you value friendships more than you value yeah. money? That's the bottom line. I, I no, really? value your integrity and your ethics and your friendships more than you I value. Do. This money. is why I'm gonna die alone, and that's proven because well, Anna Nicole, when Anna Nicole Smith died. We were offered so much money. How much? A lot. How much? Yeah, how much? How much? Millions. A how lot. Much? For what? A lot. For stuff about her funeral and everything. And we chose the friendship and the love and to bury our friend because rather you than know to what? reveal those secrets. Beca because that's a ride or die. Listen, talking about something that you witnessed is one thing, but right. to throw your friends under a bus for. A viral video which could just die tomorrow. Not yeah, no, it. that's not. No. Not going to do it. No, I mean, a ton of money is a different story. David, you know where you you know how we live. You're yeah. in L. A. Now. You see the Beverly Hills I community, am. which is very tight knit and yeah. very small, and you know who knows who now. So when you see our I've world, I've been to the store on Dayton Way. Yeah. So when you see the world we come from, <laughs> we're just giving so many shout outs here today. Well, I mean, think about it. When you come to the boutique, those walls could talk. I've been there for almost 30 years. Yes. And between Betty White and somebody Adrian other Adrian Malouf. Exactly. And so since we're doing many. shout outs, Gown and Out in Beverly Hills, season four, <laughs> just dropped on Amazon Prime Video. <laughs> oh, but you know what I mean. But if I Raquel know calls what you me, mean. Raquel, call me. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I wouldn't mind sitting down with Raquel and saying You probably set her straight. I would I would love to have a conversation <laughs> with her. He's a therapist. And <laughs> and say, you know what? I, I, I understand maybe things you thought were gonna go in a specific direction. Maybe you were prompted to do this. Maybe it worked out. Maybe it's gonna backfire. It's a risk you take. How do you feel about it now? And if I'm making you this dress, are you totally committed to the sky that you know you're going to go the distance with? And if you can't answer that, life is a big journey. It's got a lot of exclamation marks. It's got a lot of question marks. It's got a lot of hashtags, backslashes. You don't know what's going to happen in five minutes. So you have to live your truth for the day. Right. 
what about the fact, do you think, I mean, you're good friends with Sheena. Do you think, like, because people are saying Sheena, Lala, all of them, Jax, they're all just cha-ching, cha-ching. They are milking this. People are saying, why are you talking about this night and day, Sheena? Why are you talking about this night and day, Lala? Why Jax and Brit? Like, everyone's why now Why shouldn't profiting. they talk about yeah, it? Yeah, they should. People want to know. It's I'm their experience and people want to know. When Annie people Nicole died, know. do you know how many people went out out of the and talked and but, talked? Because people want to know about it. Let me it. tell you how we started our book. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain this to you. The when Anna we Nicole wrote, book. Yes. When we wrote the Anna Nicole book, we didn't write it because we were trying to write a book. Right. We wrote it because we were in grief because we didn't know how to process the death, the departure of a very, very dear friend. So when you're that intimate with someone, y- people give you lots of options. Do yoga, go on a retreat, go to one of those farms for a week and recharge. I'm like, let's just and another, start putting our thoughts on And another person said... Why don't you write down some of your memories? Yeah. When we started writing down those memories, we were able then to go back and start reading them. And the hurt, the love, right. the the intimacy, the care, all of these things that you put onto paper and you start crying, you're laughing, you're memorializing these moments that are treasured that you know is going to live a lifetime. That's when... Right. They came to us and they're like, you know, this is like a book. This is a story. David, some of the, some of the best so moments. So hold on. When they're talking about it, think about it. They're grieving. They're, they're processing it their as they're speaking and their about it. Yeah. So they're not trying to milk it. It happened. They weren't the cause of it. Right. But they were the bystanders that got, you know, hit with it. Sheena's devastated because how could she not be de- devastated? Right. She was best friends with Sandoval from the very beginning. She's b- friends with Schwartz from the very beginning. She's the original OG of Vanderpump. Yeah. Right? She waited on us at Via well, Blanca yeah. before Vanderpump started. I know. She was a hostess she at did, the restaurant. Yeah. She did lead the show from Brandy and the Real Housewives of Do you see what I mean? Yes. Beverly Hills so, into so but think about Sheena it. Is the whole book. reason the show is around. Yes. She's the OG. Wow. And, and she was at Via Blanca the light before. Is just going off yeah. When she when was. she was when she was at Via Blanca, there right. was no sir. There was none of that exactly. stuff. Exactly. So we knew her since then. Yeah. Imagine. And so when you see it now, she doesn't have her friends. She's been mistreated by her good friends that she thought. And betrayed. And the the hurt is so deep. She cried. She cried on the podcast. I felt so horrible for making her cry. Real cries or fake cries? No, no, really crying. She's really, really affected. Real cries. Really has. Oh, my God, David. We're not that Hollywood. Jesus Christ. I know you're not, but, you know, there's this uh, is. No. Listen, some of the best moments of our book, Anna Nicole Smith, Portrait of an Icon, is when we were in Arrowhead. Remember, we were in Arrowhead. Yeah, we're in the snow. We got stuck in the snowstorm in the car. And I yeah. pulled out the laptop, and it was a blizzard all around us. We couldn't get out of the car. And I pulled out the laptop, and we just started crying and talking about our memories. And I was typing it in the I computer. I can't even tell you. And those are the best chapters we of We stole our book. internet from people, yeah. from the houses, <laughs> yeah. because we just... You know, 